Hmm. Let's start with a simple one. Cook me some french fries. Easy. It will be done. I just want to learn how to cook. While everyone is peeling potatoes, I'd better hit the butter. By the way, there is never much of it. Well, the butter is almost boiling, which means that it's time to pour out the ready-made slices of french fries. No! Stop! It's splashing! Cut! Help! What are you doing? Because of you, we were almost bombarded by boiling oil. The oil should be poured carefully. Then fry the potatoes evenly. Cut them. Nothing difficult. Okay. The french fries are ready. There's only a little sauce left to add. <sighs> fries? In my opinion, this is an ordinary fried potato. And I'll make real french fries. But that's not all. Now I'm going to make a real delicacy out of ordinary potatoes. I'll need bacon, some sauce, and of course, sweet rosemary. Mm, smells so good. Bingo! I haven't lost everything yet. Why not use marmalade potato? They say if you dip it in strawberry syrup, it'll be even better. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll start trying with potatoes in the middle. Mmm, Grandma, this is very nice. Oh, ew! I can't stand rosemary. I'm sorry, Madame Chef, but I didn't like it. But I appreciate the idea of marmalade potatoes. Brother, you're doing great. Now I don't know who to choose. Let it be, grandmother. Hooray! This time, this task is more difficult. You need to cook sushi. Come on! It'll be done. According to the best recipe. What? Sushi? Sushi? Yeah, I have no idea what sushi is in the countryside. What is that? I'm going to make sushi that you never dreamed of. What? Ordinary sushi is boring. Another thing is sushi made out of different candies. Instead of cream cheese, there will be delicious whipped cream inside. And of course, gummies. Perfect. We must not forget about the chocolate syrup. <laughs> An interesting idea. I will also have sushi ready very soon. The main thing is to repeat very carefully after the chef. Nothing complicated yet. Nothing complicated. So let's see what disgusting sushi you have. <sighs> I can add sauce too. You don't have to be super smart for that. What is that? Avocado? The most important thing is to twist everything perfectly, which you, Grandma, certainly won't succeed at. ta -da. The perfect sushi is almost ready. What a horror! I didn't think your sushi was so ugly! Wow. It's time to wrap sushi in salmon. The main thing is to add a lot of fish cut into chunky pieces. And we must not forget about soy sauce. Hmm. Fish, you say? Okay. It will be done. Perfect. I hope it turned out delicious. <gasps> wow. Oh no! The chef's sushi look more attractive. What? Bingo! I can't put this whore in front of my granddaughter, but I have an idea. Why not make cucumber sushi? It's both delicious and healthy. Oh, really? And disgusting. Why is that? Cucumber is an ideal ingredient for sushi. You just need to put more rice into it. It doesn't look good. Wait a little, I'm not done. Ta-dam. Look what a beauty. What is this? What? I've never seen cucumber and rice sushi. 
they don't even have fish. I'm not chasing it. But I will try sweet sushi with pleasure. Hooray! Mmm! Delicious. But it's not satisfying at all. The last candidate is left. Wow. Here they are. Real sushi. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Madame Chef, you have one. Thank you, but it was obvious. Oh, no! I hope each of you can make a waffle. I heard that you need to start with dough. I think I won't have any problems with it. Okay. We'll add some sugar. Yeah! Mix it up a little. Perfect. It's time to add flour. Wow. Oh, no. I think I got something in my nose. <laughs> wow. Here's a waffle. It's okay. This flour is enough for me to make delicious waffle. No, no. You just need to stir everything well. <laughs> Let's do it. Hey, you. Okay, so now my finished dough can be poured into a waffle iron. Let's go. These will be the most delicious waffles in my sister's life. Mmm, <sighs> the dough turned out very tasty, and most importantly, without eggshells. I hope it will make a decent waffle. Aww. Everyone added sugar, but I know that sugar is harmful. So I'll add a whole ripe eggplant instead. And I'll make dough out of it. Let's do it. It will be absolutely perfect. Perfect. And now we'll add some eggs. And of course, some flour. Let's mix it up well. And add some greens for the taste. It even sounds disgusting. But this dough is much better than yours. Mm, what? And now you can pour it into a waffle iron. Just like that. And let's time it so we don't burn it. Yeah, timing is pretty good. Oh, it seems the waffle is a little burnt. Look, hot, hot! But that's okay. I will hide its not very pleasant appearance with whipped cream, some berries, and chocolate syrup. Just like that. It's awesome! And I will traditionally pour maple syrup on my waffles. A piece of butter will also not be extra. Oh, wow! Oh, it's so yummy. And I will decorate my already healthy waffles with healthy herbs. Hello! Let's try it! I'll start with this one. Oh, ew! Your waffle is kind of overcooked. I won't eat that. And this one? Ew! This waffle tastes like grass and eggplant! I hate it! Disgusting! And this one is pretty good! Oh yes! That's just what I wanted! Grandma, you're winning this round! Hooray! Finally, I want to drink a cup of delicious coffee! Wow! It'll okay. be done! <laughs> Easy! I just came up with a brilliant idea! Hot coffee is boring. Today, cold coffee, which is frappuccino, is infection. You need to throw ice in a large jar. Then you need to add delicious chocolate syrup there. And of course, we must not forget about the coffee itself. I have it from Starbucks, by the way. And a cocktail of Twix chocolates will definitely not be extra. I'll blend it up a little and use it instead of milk. Hmm. And I think I'll make a more classic coffee. I know that my granddaughter loves it. Aww. 
Ta-da! And this is the end. You need to add whipped cream and some chocolate sweets. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> Oreo cookies. Mmm. Mmm. So yummy. And a candy bar. Of course, we must not forget about the straw. Oh, well. It's my turn to make coffee. With the help of a scale, I will measure the right amount of grains. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I will manually grind them to be the desired state. Look and learn! And only now, I will pour boiling water to the coffee. The coffee is actually made that way? Perfect. <sighs> now I will pour coffee into the cup. Mm, and I'll blend the milk on my own as well. Mm -hmm. You should also not forget about the appearance. Look what a beauty! <laughs> um, I'll start with the middle one. Grandma, I'll always recognize this coffee. And it's time to admit that I don't like it at all. Oh. <laughs> okay. The first mug looks more pleasant. Delicious, but a little bitter for me. No. The last candidate left to win. Mmm, that's really cool. Brother, you win this round. Yeah, finally. And now she's asking for a pile of pancakes. No question. Hey. Grandma, wake up! We need to make pancakes! Oh. oh, um, I know how to do that. Grandma and Shab needed the dough so quickly that no one even noticed it. And now they're frying pancakes. It looks delicious, but I can do better. I'll add some food coloring to the dough. There'll be different colors. Wow, Handy decided to place the baby with something unusual. Look what a bright colored dough he has. It'll be very tasty and beautiful. <sighs> oh. oh, you're so sloppy, Andy. And in general, pancakes are best with some maple syrup and a piece of butter. What? This is simple, proven over the years recipe. Pancakes with maple syrup? This will not surprise anyone. Here's a serving of pancakes from a professional. I'll need an egg for that. This recipe is called poached egg. It is necessary to boil water in a saucepan and break the egg directly into the water. And while it's cooking, I'll take slices of ham and leaves of greens. And I'll put it all beautifully between the pancakes. <laughs> it's time for the baby to appreciate the efforts of the participants of the challenge. First from Andy. They're simply delicious, especially in combination with marshmallows. And now let's try pancakes from Grandma. They look pretty simple, however very tasty. And pancakes from the chef look unusual, but the raw yolk of a poached egg is disgusting. The baby did not appreciate it. And the victory goes to Andy. Yeah, I won! Let me fix it for you. Hey. Don't touch it, Grandma. Attention, everyone. The baby wants a juicy steak. No question. Grandma can do it. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I'll be fine. That's it. We take it and fry it, nothing complicated. How can you fry without oil? You need to lubricate the grill pan thoroughly. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to add oil too! Duh. Oh, Andy, don't add so much oil. And of course you should try to get oil in the pan. Now we throw a piece of meat into a frying pan and fry it. <sighs> wow! <laughs> Impressed? Come on! Absolutely! Oh, uh, I can do it too! <laughs> of course, Andy, the main thing is not to miss the frying pan! Oh, uh, I didn't miss! <sighs> oh, young man, watch and learn! By the way, my steak is almost ready! Now you can also add some salt! <laughs> cool throw! Big deal! Hey. Grandma, look, I'm going to give you a lift now! Are you look, ready? I'm like a real chef! No! Oh no! It fell on the floor! <laughs> yes. And it collected hair and dirt, and it's also raw and undercooked. Uh, maybe she won't notice? Oh my god. Oh, you can't serve a dish like that. I don't know what to do. I'll pour more ketchup. It'll hide all the flaws. 
<laughs> That's it. Mm, it smells great. Oh, thank you, Mia. My steak is really beautiful. It remains to add springs and rosemary as a decoration. And that's all your decoration, Grandma? I know something better. Mia knows the secret of the famous golden steak. It'll be a real golden steak like in the most expensive restaurant. Meat should be cut with a sharp knife so as not to spoil the appearance of the steak. Oh, well, that's how it is. I didn't know it. Ready? Now you can serve it. <laughs> Finally, you can try the dishes. Meat with ketchup does not cause the baby's appetite. Um, just look at it. You can see the hair endured. And the golden steak. I wonder if the baby will taste it. Hmm. It seems delicious, but not impressive. Grandma's steak smells delicious. And most of all, it came to the baby's liking. Simple and no frills, but what a taste! Grandma's steak undoubtedly takes the first place! I won! Hooray! It's time to eat dessert, and the baby wants to eat… Ice cream! Oh, I know the recipe's fried ice cream. Her grandma can make ice cream? Okay. Nothing complicated! So what is in the recipe? You need to chop it into small pieces. Okay. Hmm. How beautiful! Now I'm going to chop it into pieces too! <laughs> Easy as pie! I like chopping ice cream! Oh, watch your knives, young man! And don't throw food around the kitchen! Ugh, got carried away! Sorry, Grandma! <laughs> That's what happens when amateurs get to work. Meanwhile, I have already prepared everything. It remains to complete the dish with a beautiful serving. Nice. Oh, everything turned out perfectly. I'll decorate the ice cream with lemon zest. The sour taste of lemon is perfectly combined with the sweetness of ice cream. Some mint leaves and some smoke of dry ice. This is how ice cream is served in the most refined restaurants. Awesome. Just look at this. Incredible. <laughs> wow! Grandma also prepared everything. Cut and twist. Um… Uh, it's not really working out. The ice cream's stuck. Okay, let's just put some chocolate syrup on top. No. <laughs> That's funny. I'm almost done too! Nothing complicated. <laughs> now I'll put in a bowl and decorate it with whipped cream. I love it! I'll have much more for the baby. <laughs> and now I'll sprinkle some Rainbow Skittles candies. A sugar straw for beauty and some Oreo cookies. Please. Grandma, will you let me? Okay. Oh, thank you! Now I'm going to pour chocolate syrup. Oh, so much sugar. Oh, yeah! Let's see what the baby thinks. The colored ice cream from my brother looks incredibly beautiful. But the gorgeous presentation from the chef struck the baby more. Time to try it. A oh, lemon says it's too sour. Ice cream slices and chocolate syrup looks unappetizing, but it tastes nothing unusual. Finally, it's time to try the ice cream from the brother. Whipped cream, sugar straws, and Skittles. Incredibly delicious combination. And the winner is… Brother. Yeah! I knew it! Grandma, let me hug you! Everyone concentrate. We continue our culinary duel. The next request is a croissant. The French really like to eat croissants with coffee for breakfast. Oh, Grandma, are you from France? Do you know how to cook croissants? Grandma knows everything. They can be put in the oven and let's wait for it to cook. Ah, I can do that too! One second and let's bake! Hmm, well done, yeah. grandson. I don't approve of frozen dough. Cooking it yourself is not so difficult. By the way, our chef Mia has worked in the best restaurants in Paris and knows the oldest recipe for croissants. According to the recipe, dishes were prepared for Louis himself, the king of France. Therefore, the baby is waiting for a truly royal dessert. And the brother and grandmother watch the chef actions in amazement. How devilish she need the dough, laid it out in layers and twisted it. What a skill! It remains only to put it in the oven and wait. I won't be able to cook so cool, but I'll add Nutella to my croissants. Oh, my favorite chocolate nut paste. Mmm, delicious! Oh, what kind of manners. It's time to get their croissants. Mm, how wonderful and rosy. Andy? Look! You're on fire! Oh no! Not that! Mm, the brother got carried away with Nutella and his croissants burned down. 
Yes, the chocolate paste is really very tasty. Don't worry, you're doing great. <laughs> yeah, croissants are baked. It's time to start serving. I need an incision and you can pour out prepared cream. I'll add strawberries and I'll decorate the dish with powdered sugar on top. Voila! Everything is ready. Now we can try it. Burn croissants from the brother look terrible. Yeah, it's not worth trying them. Ugh, oh, what a smell! Croissants from grandma are delicious, sweet, and so nice! Our baby really liked it. Wow, strawberry, sweet cream, and delicious dough made according to the royal recipe. Mm, Without a doubt, croissants from the chef take the first place. Oh, thank you. I knew that. So many products. And that's great. I'm sure you'll be able to cook me something with it. And more importantly, a pasta. <laughs> well, it's worth a try. I wonder where to start. I'll probably take spaghetti. I think they need to be shoved in the water. That's it. But why don't they fit? I'll try to do it with a spoon. <gasps> I came up with something. I need a different approach. I'll just break the spaghetti in half. Poor chain. How incompetent you are. I should have paid more attention to you. You need to take spaghetti, gently put it in hot water, and wait a little until they soften and completely immerse them into the pan. Great. Grandma, you shouldn't teach a girl. She needs to take an example from professionals. I will cook homemade noodles. They're much better than store-bought ones. To do this, I will need premium flour, a neck, and a little salt. I'll knead it properly. And the dough is ready. I want to paint it black, and for this, I'll use cold fish ink. It's completely safe. It only takes a few drops. And now, we'll mix the dough and okay. give the dough a little rest under the foil. I'm not sure you have enough time to cook this dish. I have everything under control. It's time to roll out the dough. It's the hardest job, but I can do it. And now I'll take a special knife and cut the dough into strips. Look how soft it is! I'm sure my dish will turn out very tasty. I sprinkle the dough with flour. Well, that's all. You can boil it. I'll throw it into boiling water, stir it, and wait. The main thing is not to let pasta stick together. Now you can put it on a plate. And now I'll prepare the dressing. In my opinion, seafood goes completely great together with pasta. I'll just fry some small octopuses. Huh? It looks a little strange. Hmm. You don't understand it. It's high cuisine. I'll add the sauce and that's it. Bobby will definitely appreciate it. Ooh. I think my boy likes ketchup uh, better. Uh, Jane, what are you doing? I'm trying to get spaghetti out of the pan. Doesn't look like pasta at all. Rather, I got a pasta casserole. I think it's better to throw it away. Oh, I came up with an idea! I'll take some Chinese noodles. Bobby always loves them. I'll open it as spices and pour boiling water. That's how I like it to cook. It looks pathetic. And in my opinion, pretty good. Wow, so many dishes. My eyes are running wild. Don't even know where to start. Mm, I hate octopuses. They're scary. But I like pasta with ketchup. I love the sauce. Mm, I think Granny did it. Chinese noodles are a pleasant surprise. I've always liked it. Oh no, they're so spicy. Oh, actually, it's pretty good. I think they're gonna win. Thank you. What does my boy want now? There, cook me some Ooh. chips. <laughs> Whatever you say, okay. kid. I have no idea what to do. Don't worry, Jane. First, you need to peel the potatoes. And now we cut them as thin as possible. Pour some oil. And it'll create a delicious, crispy crust. Turn on the stove at full power and send the potatoes to the frying pan. Seems like nothing complicated. Thanks, Grandma. I'll try it. I'll take the potatoes and peel them. Seems I'm doing something wrong. Mm, why do I have such a small piece left? Although, I think it won't affect the taste. So, 
Now we can pour the oil. I turn on the tile and lay out the potatoes. No, Jane! Don't do this! Ow! How hot! I was doomed with oil! It was necessary to lay out carefully. Quick, cover yourself. Cooking is clearly not your thing. Come on, you'll see it'll turn out well. Jane, because of you, I got distracted and almost forgot about my dish. Mm, my dish are gonna be special again. We're gonna make them out of tortillas. Thanks to this, they'll be even more crispy and delicious. I send the sliced tortillas to the hot oil. Look how it sizzles. What you need. That's all. You can get it. Just like real nachos. Only spices are missing, but I'll fix that. First, you need to serve the dish. I put the toasted pieces on a black plate. Instead of spices, I'm gonna take some cheese. How delicious it flows. It is very difficult to resist and not try. I'll add some vegetables for decorations, and that's all. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I also need lime juice. It'll set off the taste. Look at how perfect it is. I'll put them on a plate. Wow, I wouldn't refuse such a dish either. But my potatoes don't look good. Do I really have to throw everything away again? Wait, I've come up with something. You need to add spices. They will hide all the flaws. I'll put the potatoes in a bowl and spring generously on top. <laughs> Looks a little better already. I'll mix it up and… That was fun. Let's put it on a plate. I see you're all doing your best. Ooh. Bon appetit, Bobby. Try it. Well, I'll start with this. Ugh, how many spices? I don't like it. This dish looks prettier. Okay. Whoa, what do I see? Nachos? Well, I definitely didn't expect this. Oh, it's no. cheese sauce. I hate it. So the middle one wins. Oh, thank you, my boy. Wow. These are real cakes. That's right, Jane. Use them to make me a cake. Wow, I want to get down in business right away. Okay. I have no doubt because you're still my sweet tooth. That's why grandma is great at making any dessert. Why sponge cake is best combined with buttercream. As you can see, my dish already looks delicious. The main part of the work is done. You need to properly smooth out the cream. And now I'm going to decorate my cake with chocolate bars. Bobby loves them. What else would I add? Came up with something. These airy candies. It looks perfect. You can't think of anything better. I will make bright accents in the form of Skittles. That's it. The last candy. Isn't that a miracle? It's not bad for homemade baking, but it doesn't compare to my dessert. It deserves the best pastry shops in France. Have you noticed how confident my movements are? All these years of work in the kitchen. Now we need to cut the cake exactly in half. I'll add some cream on top. And it looks simple so far, but it's not over yet. Believe me, I'll bring it to mind. I put the other half of the cake on top, like this. And cut out the middle. And now I'll put this on its side. Does it remind you of anything? Soon I'll add color. And you'll understand everything. Purple, blue. Yes, it's a real rainbow. As you can see, I did all the work for a reason. Give me a little more time and you will be amazed. Emma, you've come up with some nonsense as usual. Admit it, you're just jealous of me. Look how smooth the cream is. It's a real sight. <gasps> um, I was staring and completely forgot about my cake. I need to finish it urgently. Looks like kind of strange. How can I fix it? An idea. Okay. It's worth a try because it won't get any worse anyway. Don't understand. Why do you need this thing on top? It's a secret. You'll see everything. Hmm? How do you like it? Wow. Very unexpected. Oh, Bobby likes it. My boy, we have everything ready. <laughs> yeah, it's time to treat yourself to dessert. With pleasure. How many sweet things! Wow, a real rainbow! It tastes just divine! Great, Emma! Good job! 
And there's a lot of chocolate in this cake. Also delicious. Grandma, it's super. The last cake is left. It looks like a huge iceberg of ice. So much cream. But still the victory goes to Emma.